Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the new text features in Photoshop Elements 10, as well as tell you about some of the old text features that you may not be using. First, let's go ahead and uh, open here. And if you have a chance, stop by my website, jacksetechcorner.com. And the reason I want you to do that mainly is just to look at the website, look it over. Uh, I built a brand new website for everybody to visit. And under uh, show notes, I just wanted to point out that you can see the basic notes from each of my uh, weekly live shows. Now the weekly live shows air every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Justin TV. But when you go to Jack's Tech Corner, all you have to do is click on this live show link and it will take you directly to a web page I set up so you can join our chat room and I tell you what folks there's a lot of great fun in the chat room and also view the live feed. Also just to point out don't forget that there's also uh, DVDs if you have yet to purchase a DVD go ahead and look those over those are there to help you learn even more about your Photoshop elements. And join our Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, you might as well join our group and be on the utmost cutting edge of photography. The Facebook group is Jack's Tech Corner. Just click on there. As you can see, we have 123 members right now, and it's growing every day. And these uh, folks on here are some of the best of the best photographers and editors you're going to find. Uh, a lot of these folks have been watching my shows and my YouTube videos for as long as I've been producing them, and they are some fantastic people. So if you want to join in, share your pictures with us and your knowledge, it's a great place to hang out. So let's go ahead and get started with this particular lesson. Now in this lesson, we want to talk about the new text tools of Photoshop Elements 10. And we're also going to look at some of the old text tools that you may or may not be using correctly. So let's go ahead and start off with the um, text tools here. So we click on the text box. And you're going to right click on it, or you can even do a control click on it, and you can bring up the little sub menu. Now, let's start from the furthest down because that's the new tools, and we'll work our way up. So, text on a custom path. And I showed this during my live show. What this means is you can draw a custom path. And if you're not familiar with a, with a path, the path is basically. Um, created or it was first discovered in Photoshop uh, the full edition Photoshop um, just Photoshop and then Photoshop CS all of those actually have paths and a lot of people believe in paths and they love them so now they're starting to bring the path tool into Photoshop elements all you gotta do is click your mouse and just draw a line you can draw us any way you want once you get that done hit the checkbox and just click your cursor here and you can start typing Once you're done, all you have to do at that point is click the checkbox once again. Now that's on a custom path. Now what does that mean? Well, custom path can be moved. If you click up here on the little move tool, let's click on it again. There you go. Then you can actually move this around right here. We can grab here at this point and we can pull this point down. You can see the letters will move down to there. Pull this point over. We can stretch that back out. You can do all kinds of stuff with this now because it is a path. Works very well. Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's get rid of all this. And look at the next text tool. And it's text on a shape. Now I did find that this is not every single shape that's in your shape palette. This is a specific set of shapes that they've used in Photoshop Elements to allow you to create your text on it. So click the pull down menu and you'll see here you have rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, the pi polygon, polygon, the heart, speech bubble, and butterfly. And there's some of these I don't like as much as others. For instance, let's look at this, the speech bubble. I don't like how this works. We're going to give uh, the kid here a speech bubble. And then we're going to simply click up here to type the text. 
instead of the text going in the speech bubble where it should be, right? If you're reading a comic strip, that's where it's at. Watch where it goes. It goes around the outside of the speech bubble. Now, if you want to change fonts, you can just highlight those. Click up here, just like you normally would. And pick out a different font. So it goes around the speech, which I don't like that. It doesn't make sense. So they need to redesign that. I do agree with you there. I wouldn't really use that. Let's undo that. Click the pull down menu. The one that really worked best for me was the um, the round or the ellipse. Because watch how this works. And I showed this in my live show. I really like this. Because now we're going to put this here. We're going to put um, this is the kid. Then you hit the little checkbox. You hit the move tool. Then if we click on that box, we can actually take this and spin it. That's why I like this tool. It makes sense for that to be on the outside of its shape. And what I thought when I was done was, is that circle going to stay there? No, it doesn't. If I click the checkbox, click here, the circle is gone. You have a nice rounded text. Now, text on the selection. Let's go ahead and look at that. So this is, you make your selection. And here's your offset. So you can offset the text away from the selection a little bit. That's what that means. So let's make a selection of, well, we'll use the kid's head. Okay, there's our selection. Click your checkbox. Click your text tool here and check this out. And then click the checkbox. And now you can use your offset and you can actually offset that a little bit away from their head. And I think it's so, so small of a change here that you're not really seeing it. It's very hard to see on the recording that it's actually moving a little bit. So there's that one. But now what I wanted to show you was something that you may be using and you may not be using. That As I was preparing for this tutorial, I said, you might want to see this happen or how this works. So I'm going to undo this one. Okay. Leave that one. Now... It's something new they added, right, that we can add text to the shape and make a rounded text. And that's really neat and cool and everything. But we've had that ability all along. Go to your horizontal type tool. Place your box on here. We're going to just start typing like we always did. All right. Click the check box. Click on it again or click on the layer over here on the right and click right up here where it says create wrap text. You also has change text orientation, but we're going to create a wrap text and then you got the wrap text tool. So we've had the ability all the time actually to round the text out or do different things with it. Click the pull down menu and just tell it what you want. And here is a arc right here. You can see it just rounded it out. You can bend it a little bit, which I thought was kind of fun. So I could bend it up and down even more. Horizontal distortion, it kind of turns a little bit. So that's fun. I think you have more abilities this way than you do the other way. And vertical distortion. So we can almost lay that down. So you're getting that, I don't call it really a 3D look. I call it more of a 2D look. Click your uh, tool here, click your move tool, and now you can move that text around to wherever you need it. We also have the ability to, to like we did before, to take that and spin it around just like we did before. So there you go. There's a lot of different ways you can play with your text on your pictures. 
Uh, and I know a lot of you out there that watch these uh, particular uh, Photoshop elements that I create. You use this for scrapbooking, and I know you have a lot of uh, excellent ideas also. I just wanted to touch base with you with the new Photoshop Elements tools for text. And just so you don't forget them. <coughs> and just so you don't forget these, they are the Text on a Selection tool, Text on a Shape tool, and Text on a Custom Path tool. That's your three new uh, ways of adding text to your pictures with Photoshop Elements 10. Now I will have more tutorials for you with Photoshop Elements 10, but first let me say thanks to everybody out there for watching these shows. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscription button. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there, believe it or not. We're pretty close to 6,000 right now. So you can be a part of this group and part of this movement to be um, a better photographer, you know, and. Also, don't just listen to me. I want to hear from you. So get on Facebook and sign up or come over and just join our group. It's Jack's Tech Corner. Join that Facebook group. Watch us live on Sunday mornings. I'd love to have you there. Every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, all you have to go to Google is go to Google if you live somewhere else overseas or something. Type in Eastern Standard Time compared to you and, and get the calculation and figure out what time that is for you. And uh, hopefully you can join us. We have great fun. I tell you what, and as I'm teaching, the chat rooms are going crazy with people when they're talking about stuff. Um, I take Skype calls. So we take live Skype calls during that show. And it's great to have your feedback. Most of the shows are an hour. And sometimes we run those over. And then we do an after the show talk where I just sit and just simply answer questions very relaxed. Uh, we do that for an extra, usually a half hour to an hour after the show. Uh, and that's stuff you don't see here on YouTube because I don't post that because that's only for the live folks to come over there and visit us. And as always, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. And I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner for another Photoshop type or photography type tutorial. And we'll see you then. Bye for now. So until next time. As always, keep those clickers, click, keep those clickers. And as always, next time. <laughs>